Unveiling Restricted Audience, a Guide to Understanding. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're exploring a phrase that you might have come across but not fully understood, restricted audience. It's a term that pops up in various contexts, from entertainment to professional settings. So, if you're ready to unlock the meaning and usage of this phrase, let's jump right in. Restricted audience refers to a specific group of people who are allowed or permitted to view, attend, or participate in an event, performance, or any form of content. This restriction can be based on age, membership, job roles, or any criteria set by the organizer or content creator. The key point here is that access is not open to the general public but is limited to people who meet certain conditions. 1. Movies and TV shows Certain films or episodes might be intended for an adult audience due to mature content, hence restricted to viewers over a certain age. 2. Educational materials Some resources may be designed specifically for students of a particular level or field not for the wider public. 3. Workplace documents. Companies often have internal documents that are meant to be seen only by employees or specific departments. 4. Exclusive events. Special events, like a VIP concert section or a private seminar, where attendance is limited to guests who have been invited or have met certain criteria. Understanding the concept of a restricted audience is crucial for several reasons. It helps in comprehending content suitability, knowing whether a piece of content is appropriate for you or certain audiences, following legal and ethical guidelines, especially important for content creators and event organizers to ensure they are adhering to regulations, navigating access permissions. For individuals trying to access content or events, Understanding why restrictions apply can be key to gaining entry. The term, restricted audience, plays a significant role in how content and experiences are tailored and presented to specific groups. Whether it's for reasons of appropriateness, exclusivity, or confidentiality, knowing the ins and outs of this phrase helps in both understanding and respecting the boundaries set by creators and organizers. We hope this video has shed some light on the subject and enriched your English language journey. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about communicating effectively and understanding the nuances that come with it. Happy learning!